Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. The following pedigree shows the inheritance of common phenotype controlled by an autosomal recessive allele. The probability of carriers in the population is one third. What is the probability that a child from parents to 3 and 2, 4 will show the phenotype? So parents to 3 and to 4 and we have to find probability of this child to be homozygous recessive and show phenotype like for example this people in the pedigree. But before I will uh, continue let me show you the original problem and here is the original problem as it has been sent to me and if you would compare the answers you would see that I change uh, answers a little bit. Why? Because uh, as you see it is said that the correct answer is answer C 136 and this is wrong answer. So I have to change it to the correct answer uh, in my list and uh, I first will explain where is a mistake. So take a look. Uh, we only can get this answer only if we assume that for example this person here uh, has a probability of being carrier or for example capital A and small a as one sort and uh, this person here also assumed to be a carrier capital A small a and probability also one third and uh, two heterozygous parents would have probability of having a homozygous recessive child as one quarter. One quarter. In this case we have to multiply all these independent probabilities. So one third multiplied by one third would be one ninth and multiplied by one quarter would be 1 over 36 and this is proposed answer again which I saying is wrong and now here's my explanation why it is wrong and why the correct answer would be 1 twelfth. Let's take a look again at uh, this pedigree and what we know we know that for example this person in generation one person number two is homozygous recessive. This person has two recessive allele that's why he shows this defective phenotype and again we know that it is controlled by autosomal recessive allele so hence the genotype. And we also know that this couple here has um, one child who also shows this uh, recessive phenotype. So we know that this person also has genotype small a small a. What this give us? This give us information that one recessive allele this child got from his father but another recessive allele this child have to get from his mother. So we know that mother have to be heterozygous and no any other variants. Uh, this parent is homozygous recessive and this parent is heterozygous and we know it for sure. We also can put even 100% here and 100% here. We just know it. And we also can put 100% here we also know phenotype of this child and as for the phenotypes of the other people for example phenotype of the child uh, in the generation 2 number 1 we also know for sure it have to be capital A and small a. How do I know? This parent only can give recessive allele. No way that this parent would give dominant allele A. So uh, one allele have to be recessive. But this child show normal phenotype. That means that from mother this child got 
dominant allele and not recessive. So we again know 100% for sure that this child is heterozygous. And now as for this person here, uh, what is the genotype? Genotype also would be heterozygous and we know this 100%. Uh, Again, the same picture. Uh, father only can give recessive allele, but phenotype is normal. That means that mother gave dominant allele and uh, genotype of this person is heterozygous. We know it 100% uh, because father cannot give dominant allele and uh, if mother would give recessive allele, phenotype would be affected just like uh, we see here. So we also told that um, uh, in the population probability of carriers is one sort. That give us information that this person has probability of being heterozygous as uh, one sort. And when we have two parents, both heterozygous, probability of them to have affected child would be one quarter. Take a look, capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, and small a, small a. So our question about what is the probability that this couple would have affected child. And as you see, such a probability is one quarter. Now we can do our calculations. So again, we know that this person is heterozygous, 100%. We also can say one over one. One divided by one would be one. And uh, this person has probability of being heterozygous as one third. And two heterozygous parents would have probability of having affected child as one quarter. So we have to multiply by probability of the child being homozygous recessive as one quarter. And the answer would be, as you see, one twelfth. This is answer A. From my experience, I have to tell you that uh, about 1% of all genetic problems contain uh, different mistakes. So if you would be puzzled and wouldn't be able to solve a problem, uh, so uh, this is a possibility that uh, just the problem or answers are wrong. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.